Um, if you're a visitor here tonight, we just want to welcome you to this special evening. It's a tremendous evening, really. It's Tom. Um, Tom will make a stand uh, saying that he's following Jesus. And that is a tremendous thing, especially in this day and age. It's a rare thing. But I pray that from his stand, from his life, many more will come to that choice, you know. because I was very, very young. And my parents took me to church because they wanted to sort of uh, have God as a blessing on my life. But to be fair, I didn't really know much about it because I was probably several months old. And what's happening tonight, tonight is something that the church over the years has been doing it for a long time. And it's a chance for Tom to make a decision. Hi guys, oh, I don't like microphones. <laughs> I want to say a huge thank you to all of you that have come out tonight. I'm really touched by how many of you have come out, especially my friends at the top and especially my grandparents and my brother and his girlfriend Amelia because they, they have actually travelled all the way up from Devon, which I think is the furthest anyone's come here, uh, just for tonight and they're going back tomorrow so I want to say thank you to them. Thanks very much. Yeah, I just want to share what God it means to me and what he has done for me. Um, you might have been to a lot of baptisms where they say I was brought up in a Christian family, I went to church every Sunday, and that is the same for me, but I don't want to um, hold on to that too much because although it's great to have a great family that takes you to church, um, I found it hindered my faith because I was living their faith, not my faith. Um, so I was just going because I knew it was right and my family took me. Um, so if you would like to say I was living my mum and dad's faith, not my own. Um, <clears throat> sorry. Yeah, so um, that's changed over the past few years. Uh, it's been really gradual with me. It's not been like a sudden um, burning bush or whatever. But it's, <laughs> it's been really gradual. And I think that just shows how awesome God is because I don't think I'd cope if it was sudden. So, yeah. Um, it all started um, a few years ago. My grandma um, persuaded me to go to a Christian camp in Devon um, in the summer, which lasted a week, and it was great fun. I got up to a lot of <coughs> mischievous things, which I won't mention. <coughs> um, yeah, so bar that, it was really good. And the thing I learnt most about it through the weeks um, I went for three years um, was that this God that I've been learning about. Um, wasn't just a God that's out there, I can actually personally know him. Um, so, yeah, I personally know God and really learned that through, um, all I learned through Sunday school, I actually knew that this God was going to be mine now, instead of, yeah, um, 
So I can call like the maker of the universe my friend. He's not just the maker of the universe, he can actually be my friend and I can um, ask him when I'm in trouble and praise him when, when I when I am not and stuff. Um, so a few years ago I wouldn't dream of standing in front of you guys like this because you might have noticed but I get really nervous. Um, yeah, but God's changed my life and I feel that if I didn't explain it to my friends and my family and the people I care about, then what's the point? Because I want you to know this God too. I don't just want it to be my God. I want to be sitting in one of those nice comfy chairs in a few years or a few months or a few weeks and actually hearing what God has done to you and how he's changed you because it's not just, he can't just be my God, he's, he's there for everyone. Um, yeah, so before I mention the next bit, um, I don't know how many of you know Soul Survivor, but it's a youth um, week which is held in different places, Shepton Mallet in Somerset, which I went to last year, sorry, two years ago, and this year in Stafford. And it's a great week, I'd advise you all to go because it's just awesome. Um, but in January this year, January 2011, um, Isabel Chander, don't want to embarrass her over there, gave me a word, and it was just that I was going to step out in my faith, um, yeah, and just forget about the worldly things like football, money, although they're not bad things, it's just you don't want to get wrapped up in it because that's not the meaning of life. Um, so I was like, right, okay. She didn't know me at the time, she just had a word for a tall Tom. I was like, <laughs> so yeah, so I took that on board and then from January through to uh, just before Soul Survivor I was just like searching for like um, how am I going to do this and put God first because I was just getting wrapped up in football, sport, just filling my time with everything bar God really. I went away from God um, and tried to fill it with other stuff which didn't satisfy me. God's still there, he didn't just think um, Tom just walked away, I'll do the same. He was always there. And jobs with dad and mum and everything, just little, little things that you don't think, but you could just tell God was there. And how that we sold our house in like, is it a week? I think a, a week? One day. Okay, day. Um, <laughs> and then we found a lovely house up here and just everything seemed to flow, but obviously that was just God. Um, I don't want to mention it too much, but he saved my brother's life, which I'm grateful for because, although I sometimes hate him. Thank <laughs> 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 you. Thanks, man. Some Bible verses, uh, or a Bible verse, or two. Okay, Romans 8, verse 38 and 39 say, For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. That's great. <laughs> I'm going to pray and I'm going to ask you to join me as we pray for Tom. Lord Jesus, I thank you for the change that you've done in Tom's life. And I thank you that you've given your life for him and you've called him to be your own. I thank you for speaking to him and I thank you for him standing here in front of us and being willing to be identified himself with you and to say, that's my savior, that's my Jesus. And Spirit of God, we pray right now that you would descend upon Tom with new power, with new confidence, with a new anointing. Lord, release new gifts into his life and empower him to live the life that Jesus called him to. Lord, we want to place him into your hand and we want to say, God, just do good things in him and through him and make him a mighty man of God. And all God's people said, Amen. Amen. Tom, do you believe that the Lord Jesus is your Savior and Lord? I do. Do you want to follow him all the days of your life? I do. On the confession of your faith, we baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.